Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have 10 properties today. Uh, shout outs to Diana, who I just met today, uh, has been watching Milton Daily Homes. Uh, also, we uh, we helped some clients who've been around since the beginning, almost eight years ago. We just sold their house. So it's a lot of fun to do that, to put a real face and uh, a relationship with uh, just starting from an email address and you probably found Milton Daily Homes on Google or Facebook or some kind of ad that we put out there and uh, and we're very grateful to have you as part of our family. So uh, today we uh, there's only a couple to talk about it'll be a pretty quick episode uh, let's do it. So the first one up might be my favorite in the whole list, 549.9. Uh, I like personally 550.000 because of the straddling of two price ranges. Whenever you see a possession date like this, it probably means that there's an important date for the sellers, uh, aka they probably bought a house. So uh, this price point for a semi-detached uh, looks good. The only thing you don't have is you don't have a garage. So if you're willing to live with that, you might even be able to build something off the side of this home. I don't know. But the point is, is that's the downside here. You've got a nice sized lot. Uh, it's a pretty quiet street too. There's really not a lot of traffic that goes down Middleton. And uh, the floors look good. Uh, definitely looks like a very comfortable amount of living space. And uh, then you got three bedrooms upstairs. There's only one bathroom. So some of the new homes have the two bathrooms. You get a finished basement. You get a lot of mature trees here too. For me, uh, you know, this versus like a three-story condo townhouse, which there's one in this list with $85 condo fees. It's just, it makes so much sense to do something like this. It's a good price point and it's the pick of the day. Now be really careful with this one on Clark 569. They've quoted it as 1320 square feet. It's not, it's 1235. That's a big difference. There's one full bathroom upstairs, nice open concept main level. This front room with the bay window, uh, it's not a huge room. You gotta be careful with what you put inside. Plus you get a finished basement. Clark is a bit busier, uh, but you're in a great school district, and overall the Beatty neighborhood is a place where people, uh, they wait for homes to show up there. So uh, I like this one, just don't believe the uh, the square footage, it's not right. So 1000 Azelton, this is a Mattamy uh, development, very similar to like 6020 Dairy, where uh, they do have townhouses that have kind of common elements. Usually it's just the visitor parking and some of the exterior maintenance and, and garbage removal. Uh, apparently you get the $85 a month uh, fee waived for the first two years. But really, if you look at how much that actually equates to, it's probably a thousand bucks a year. Not bad. Um, I'd still rather go with a freehold uh, for the same kind of money of which there's a fair bit uh, it says almost 15, well, it's 14 something. So just be careful. Like it's 14, I think 15. It's in the, there you go, 14, 15 square feet. Is that almost 1500? I don't know. I don't think so. I had a tough time between Middleton and this one on Anderson uh, for pick of the day. I really like this. I think it's a fantastic street. You can see the power line here. So it fronts on the east side of the street, which means it probably backs on to Thompson. Uh, that's a bit of a downside, but I love the house. Uh, there it is right there. You can see it. There's some new townhouses on the other side of Thompson. Uh, if there's a downside to this setup is that your basement loses square footage. If there's an upside, you could potentially have a separate entrance through the garage. I think of this is just perfect for like an in-law suite for parents, uh, that they could essentially access their home or they're part of the home without even having to go upstairs. So nice use of drone. I think Anderson's one of the prettiest streets in, in all of Milton. They've opened up the main floor, uh, custom light fixtures. Uh, it's good to ask for permits for this kind of stuff, especially when they're moving walls around. It's good to kind of have an engineer checkpoint there. Uh, but yeah, this home looks good, really nice. The Even the wood on the walls. Uh, you've got nice size windows in the basement. 
and there's even it looks like there's a walk up of sorts or there is a door from the lower level too so again if you have people living in that uh basement and uh, you've got you can access through the garage but you also have access to the backyard and from a safety perspective it's also very good so 55 by 120 love it i think this is a great listing nice price for a renovated bungalow and the other thing about the garage there's a single door but it's probably a one and a half wide just because of the amount of space there and street 10 out of 10 awesome okay so same price sire i'm telling you this is a good one too uh you've got some original elements in here you can see that sort of original floor uh they've replaced the door obviously i'd rather someone replace the door than i can do the floors take care of that uh kitchen cabinets you know you may be able to work with them and just spray them down maybe put a white kitchen or you even replace the uh, the cupboard doors in the front uh some green carpets and again it looks like it's in good shape it's been well staged uh well presented and you've got a nice size uh, piece of land too so back splits are deceivingly large this is a four level so a back split typically kitchen living dining up a few stairs to your bedrooms down a few stairs typically there's some other bedrooms there and then there's another level going down to the basement and then there's a crawl space which is an extra half level uh, again this is solid in-ground sprinkler is a bonus too uh, and you know the streets good it's timberly right i mean you can't go wrong anderson's and timberly as well uh i'll tell you this list it's not a lot there's only 10 but there's some really good ones here and this is one of them now to me what's not so good so it's an assignment sale which i don't like uh right off the bat townhouse for chrétien 7.99 so an 1846 square foot freehold townhouse inside unit uh a very very nice uh 1873 square foot with a finished basement like we're talking model home level just sold for 680 uh and it's an end unit so 7.99 i know why they're selling for this because that's what they paid when they, like back in the spring this is what they paid i don't see equivalent value here in fact very very few townhouses have been selling over 700,000. so this one in my opinion is just gonna sit and nothing good is gonna happen okay i gotta run i got a meeting but uh hopefully you enjoyed the list if you want to see anything in this list let us know we are here to help you if you want to see something besides what's in this list we can go find that too either from an on-market search and you can go new listings by email over there or we might even have something coming up that's not yet listed on mls uh, that could fit what you're looking for either way reach out to us we're here to help thanks